What is this cylindrical container my wife bought in an antique shop? She buys and sells antiques, but she has no idea what it is, and neither does the lady at the shop. It is about 20 inches tall and 5 to 6 inches in diameter. Made of wood and covered with painted canvas. There was a Ziploc bag inside containing leather straps that had fallen off. I can't make out the words on the side. The language seems Norman French. Do you have any ideas about it? It's a British Royal Navy cordite bucket, also known as Clarkson case, created in England in the early 19th century. Cordite was a new smokeless propellant developed in the UK in the late 19th century that replaced black powder which had been in use for centuries. Cordite quickly came to be used in weapons of all sizes from rifles up to the large guns on battleships. When cordite was required, it was transported from a magazine to the gun using a cordite bucket. These canisters were reusable. So when the cordite was used to fire the shell from a gun, the bucket would return to the magazine to pick up a new load. What is this thing I found in a sewing box? It's made out of metal that is about the size of a quarter and is decently heavy for its size. It is a dark metal color with one big loop at the top of the object and a big hole at the bottom of the object. This object also has two slots on either side. On one side there is a big slot that runs for most of the object and the other slot is about one-fourth the size of the object. Next to the big slot is a small square indent. Any ideas? It's a pencil sharpener, patented by Walter Kittredge Foster of Bangor, Maine, on May 18, 1858. From 1855 to 56, Foster sold pencil sharpeners at $10 per gross. According to an 1857 report, Foster has hitherto kept 40 hands constantly employed, and turned out 50 gross of the sharpeners per day. Vast quantities are used in this country, and the demand for export to Europe is increasing every day. What is this thing I found 6 inches underground in the Scottish Highlands? It's quite heavy for its size, about 75 millimeters in diameter, possibly brass. It can't be steel because there is no rust. What is it? It's a Hupmobile 1926 wing radiator cap. Hupmobiles were built from 1909 through 1939 by the Hup Motor Car Company of Detroit. Many Hupmobiles were exported overseas. 200 units in 1910 were sent to New Zealand. The cost in 1909 to 1910 for a Model 20 runabout was $750 FOB Detroit. What is this granite thing found in Cornwall, England? We found this while digging in the garden. It seems to be in two sections, but too heavy to move without machinery. It's about 8 inches in thickness and is made of solid granite. I have had a look online and can't seem to find anything that looks like this. Does anyone have an idea? It's an antique stone cider press from the 18th to the 19th century. This type of channeled stone was part of the equipment once used to make farmhouse cider and is sometimes called a dripstone. It is used to gather and drain the cider from pressed apples. What is this 2.75 inches round metal object with writing on the bottom, but reversed? I found it in a storage unit here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Maybe copper or brass plated and weighs 14 ounces. I made a reversed photo so you can read what it fully says. It completely reads, commemorative of the services rendered the Republic by Ulysses S. Grant, commissioned Brigadier General 1861. Major General 1862 and March 2, 1864, Lieutenant General and Commander of the Armies of the United States of America, Commission General July 1865, elected President 1868, and re-elected 1872. Any ideas on what this is? It's a negative mold used to strike a metal. It looks strikingly similar to this medal also given by Ulysses S. Grant to his supporters at the 1880 Republican Convention. That medal was also 2.75 inches. First, they have to soften the brass by running it through a conveyor belt furnace. Then it goes to the stamping press, then through the trimming process. What is this wooden clock-like contraption? but the numbers are in reverse and appears to be missing a handle. I found it in an old Finnish farmhouse. The height is about 60 centimeters including the legs, the width is around 40 centimeters, and made almost entirely of wood. It's like a clock, but 12 is in the place of 1, and numbers decrease clockwise. There is a handle at the top for easy carrying, and nailed shut, 
so no easy way of checking what is inside. I assume it is used for counting down the remaining time, but for what? It's a clock-faced skein winder also known as a clock reel from the 18th century. There's one on display at the Ostrobothnian Museum in Vasa on the west coast of Finland. A winding frame would attach to the square shaft. There's a worm gear on the shaft that would drive a pointer for the clock face. It gives you an approximate measure of how much yarn you've skeined. They sometimes also have an audible clicker bell that gets triggered after a full revolution of the pointer. I've worked in textiles and still own a bunch of hand spinning and production equipment. What is this wooden object roughly 13 inches long, stamped patented May 18, 1884? I found it while clearing out my parents' house. I'm not sure of the origin, and the stamped age of 1884 is my best guess of the age. I've searched the web and frequently asked things and other sources to no avail. Any ideas? It's a sewing machine pitman, patented by Lebius Baldwin Miller and Philip Deal of Elizabeth, New Jersey on May 13, 1884. Basically, all the pitman rod is a wooden stick with two holes in it, connecting two moving parts. Most of the old treadles used a wood pitman rod as the driver between the treadle platform and the drive wheel. After 75 to 100 years of use, they are often dried out and fragile and break. What is this antique tool of some type? The two feet rotates and it looks like it might have been attached to something else. The two prongs are hollow steel and end in a spiky crown. It has a round wooden handle and a stunted middle prong. Dimensions are 4 inches tall, 2.75 inches from base to prongs, and 2.5 inches across the back. What is it? It's part of a cherry and olive pitter from the 19th century. Made by Goodell Company of Antrim, New Hampshire. It is used for removing the pit from a cherry, leaving the cherry relatively intact. This piece has been in my parents' house all my life, so at least 40 years, and my mother believes it came from her father's people who lived in the eastern U.S., largely the Kentuckiana region since some time in the early 19th century. My maternal grandmother was a French immigrant who came here immediately after World War II, and this could just as well have been hers though. There are no manufacturer's marks of any kind anywhere on the piece. Honestly, we have no idea how old it is. My maternal grandmother did not make lace, and my mother never saw this thing in use. Just help me satisfy my curiosity. What the heck is it? It's a Victorian fretwork spool sewing stand, circa 1880s. Basically, it's a work table and needlework storage. The top is mostly for holding spools of thread, and the second level would probably hold everything else. The top level does turn a complete 180 degrees and can be removed. The bottom level does not turn and is not removable. What is this strange mechanical device found at a house in the south of France? The building was built by the Knights Templar, but clearly, this device was installed much later. I would hazard a guess at the 19th or early 20th century. The current owners know nothing about its use and have not moved it, so I assume it is related to the pulley above and possibly the fireplace. Any ideas? Please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.